Hey everyone. So my cold has made it so I have very little of a voice. So doing my best with the video today. Um, there was a comment from a newer viewer who said, hey, um, I hadn't heard what type of cancer that you have. And I realized I haven't really mentioned it recently um, in some of my older videos I did. But I, um, I was first diagnosed with melanoma, which is the most aggressive form of skin cancer um, back in 2017. And one of the things I figured I'd just kind of do like public service announcement. Um, remember to wear your sunscreen. That's honestly the best and easiest preventative um, measure in combating ever getting melanoma or any other type of sun, uh, skin cancer. So like my, and as a reminder, I mean, at least half of the world right now is in winter and a lot of people forget that even on cloudy days, on snowy days, um, at the beach, especially when it's cloudy, um, that reflection of things too, it's still a sunny day. You still should be wearing sunscreen or have some kind of moisturizer with some kind of sunscreen in it. Recommend getting chapstick with it as well. Um, for the first time since I, the different medications I'm on, unfortunately make me even more prone to sunburn um, than before. Um, since I've started on those medications, I've actually gotten like my lips have been sunburned and that is one of the most uncomfortable things that I've ever experienced. Um, and they like, they're, they're huge. It's like I've had lipo, or not lipo, like a, like a Botox injection or something and they get huge and all swollen and everything. Um, but the worst sunburn I have probably ever had in my life was uh, on a snowy day and it was a cloudy snowy day and I went um, snowboarding for the first time and I ended up so sunburned on my face that all across my nose and my cheeks and everything were covered in blisters. Um, so definitely, and, and I was wearing sunscreen. I just didn't reapply it as often as I needed to considering I kept face planting in the snow. Um, so, you know, a little funny to go with it, but it is super important to remember. And um, there are very few things um, cancer wise that people have control over, but for skin cancer, you really do have control. You can wear sunscreen and, um, and if you have a harder time with that, there are lots of options for skin protected clothing now as well. Um, you can like go online and go on Amazon and they have a ton of options available that are in a more reasonable price range than there used to be. So I highly recommend checking those things out as well. Um, if you have any questions for me about skin cancer, about my diagnosis, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below. Um, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really talked about it recently. So, um, and I think that's one of the hardest things is that it started as, you know, like this, this mole on my neck and it is now spread, um, you know, thus the stage four, um, it's now in my bones and even a spot on my brain. So, um, it's a serious thing and, and it's, a unfair thing, you know, and I, and a lot of people, anyone with cancer, it definitely feels unfair. So take the steps you can to protect yourself and, um, you know, wear sunscreen. Here we go. That's my public service announcement for the day. Appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you later.